My name is Daniel Peregrinos and Peregrinos. Welcome to my spotlight on the Shell Toucher All Weather Camino Sling Bag. Your best friend on the Camino. This bag was specifically designed for the Peregrino in mind in your daily, well, time on the Camino. Um, all the treachery and challenges that you will face will be, well, much easier when wearing this bad boy, as opposed to a fanny pack or anything else, in my mind anyways. I developed this or were inspired to develop it while hiking my first Camino. My second Camino, I was able to test out different prototypes and see how they fared and make tweaks along the way, which I did. So let's check out some of these features first. Oh, first and foremost, as you can see, I'm wearing it with my backpack. This is designed to be worn in conjunction with the backpack. Keep that in mind. While you can wear it without that, especially at night when you get off the Camino or while training, it is designed to be worn with the backpack. Look strap can be worn the shoulder strap can be worn under the backpack shoulder strap or over it i prefer to wear it under i find it comfortable and it's how i've always worn it but it's really up to you it's very subjective your mileage may vary at the end of the day so find what works for you in that regard uh chest clips for the backpack i wear underneath the step just to keep the reflector right out front where it can be seen by traffic passing traffic for any early morning or late night evening hiking you want you know want people to know you're there so any reflectors help. This one helps especially. It's right in the center of your body for the most part. Um, and let's check out some of the features when it comes to pockets. The largest pocket is right here. It's about a foot long at its, at its most. And maybe eight inches or nine inches at its least. Uh, it's the biggest pocket. You can keep whatever you want in here. <laughs> I won't restrict anything. Um, but what is cool about this pocket is not only is the huge pocket there's an internal pocket there that you can put your portable battery pack in see that and and now what's it doing what it is doing is it's going through this porthole the cable is into the above cell phone pocket right here see that comes out there This way you can charge your phone while you're walking. So when you get to the albergue, rather than rush to charge your phone like many do, it's safer to charge the battery and then just charge your phone while you're walking. Also, if you're using maps or any type of apps that drain a lot of power, even if your phone is fully charged, it's good to keep it plugged into the battery during the course of the day. So you'll always be up and up when it comes to power. Uh, now, I just demonstrated right now the rain flap. So this typically lives behind here and this magnet snap keeps everything in place. I chose magnet. It's easy to function, you know, easy with one hand operation. If I have stuff in my hands, cell phone maybe, uh, hiking sticks, I can do this all with one hand. I don't have to hold it with another hand and unsnap it. And then if it starts to rain and you want to protect your phone, the reason I chose to put the pocket here is if you want to use your cell phone without headphones, you just have your speakers facing up and everything's as clear as day. You can listen to language tapes while you're walking, podcasts, audible, audible books, books about the Camino, whatever the case may be. It's right here as long as no one minds, if anyone's around you. Um, listen without headphones. It's it's in the right location for that. Uh, next pocket. Also, let me show off the pole zipper design. Super easy to use. You won't lose stuff if you get a lot in the pocket. Rather than an up pull zipper, this is the down pull zipper. Another pretty good sized pocket. Keep some first aid in there, wherever the case may be. Valuables, anything you want to keep away from pickpockets and thieves, you have these great big pockets for. The smaller pocket is for, well, it was designed as a change purse. It's about the size of a change purse. You keep your euros in there, the Apple tags, whatever you want. So when, as soon as you walk into the bar, everything you need is right there. You want a cup of coffee, change it right here. You don't have to go digging for it in your bag. Uh, you don't have to take off your backpack even to get to what you need. Next, we go into the guidebook pocket. In this pocket, I would keep my guidebook. Every guidebook that I own in, that's in English will fit this pocket. This pocket was designed specifically with a guidebook in mind. Aside from the guidebook, you can also keep your passport in here and your pilgrim's passport. Again, keeping everything you need right up front here, where when, as soon as you walk into the bar, pull it out, boom. Stamp it, you're good to go right back in there. Now it starts to rain, you want to protect your book. Or even your iPad mini will fit in here as well. 
or if you want to text your book or whatever the case may be, this rain flap goes right over that and you're good to go. Everything's protected. It's not waterproof, but it virtually is. It's super water resistant. It will protect everything. You just can't go swimming with it. Don't go swimming with this. Next, we have a swivel clip in the back here. I mean, obviously you take this thing off over your head, but if you needed to, if you got caught on something and you take it off quick, just push that button in, comes right out. Also swivels, so it's not gonna bunch up like some sling bags do, or even handbags do. I also should demonstrate these auxiliary loops here. Auxiliary loops can be used for anything from, say, sunglasses. Hold your sunglasses in a pinch. Or your hydration tube. You know, rather than just having it dangle like that, if you are using a hydration tube, and just run it through here, keeps everything up front, wherever you need it. I should also note that this guidebook pocket can be used to hold a water bottle too while training or if you're cycling. This pocket's not designed to be used for a water bottle while hiking in, in conjunction with a backpack. This is only used with a water bottle if you're training and you need to hold a water bottle. Especially if you're using a hydration system, you can have to go around the neck into the water bottle. There's photos on the sales page of me wearing it like that while I'm cycling. But yeah, if you're cycling, if you're training and you're not carrying a guidebook, then yeah, you can use pretty much up to a 32 ounce water bottle and it's not coming out. <laughs> So is that, that pack comes off. You're leaving your backpack off outside the bar and you're walking in. Everything you need is right here, right where you need it. It's adjustable strap, shoulder strap. So fits most body types, probably like 90% of the folks out there. It's stitched so that it's foldable and packable. Triangular folding that is like a flag almost. But yeah, so it folds up really nice and fit in your backpack if you're not gonna wear this on the plane on your way to the Camino. Nylon ripstop, super durable. Can't say enough good things about it. If there's something I'm forgetting and you have a question, feel free to write us directly. But I absolutely love this sling bag. Camino inspired, Camino tested. It's a real uh, road word in that regard. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out shelltoucher.com. And while you're at it, check out my YouTube channel sometime. It's loaded with tips, tricks, hacks, and training material. That's shelltouchertipsandtraining.com. One for me now.